Hi, are you a pre-med student and you're getting ready for the MCAT? Not sure how you're going to get a top score? Well, this video is just for you. Pay attention because I'm going to dispel the biggest myth that's standing in your, in your way of getting a top MCAT score. Do you want to know what most pre-med students do that gets them into trouble on the MCAT? They memorize. And you know what happens? When you memorize, you don't get a top score. I'm going to tell you what you actually need to do. Unfortunately, a lot of students, they think that all they need is a commercial MCAT prep course. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Those courses, they're great if you need a content review. Basically, you need to go over your basic sciences. You need to know your biochem, your orgo, your physics, all of that good stuff. That's great for that, but they don't teach you how to actually excel in the MCAT. I'm going to share with you how to excel in the MCAT because I teach you how to think like a doctor. Unfortunately, you're going into MCAT thinking what worked in your pre-med classes is going to work on the MCAT. That doesn't work because the MCAT is not a test of memorization. Throughout your pre-med classes, as long as you memorize the equations, did a couple practice problems, did the reading, you'll be fine come test day. But the MCAT's an entirely different beast. A lot of students walk out of the MCAT and they tell me, Jason, it was nothing like I ever prepared for. None of my commercial prep course books, videos, or anything even gave me the slightest preparation for this, and I just feel like everything came from left field. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know how I'm going to overcome this, and I don't know what to do because I want to get into medical school, and I think I need to retake the MCAT. Yes, you probably do need to retake the MCAT. Did you know the latest numbers on what you need to get into medical school? Everybody who applies to medical school, their average MCAT score is about a 501. But to actually get into medical school, you need a score of 507 or above. And you know what else happens? Over 44% of people who apply to medical school, they apply with MCAT numbers are below average. They think that maybe the AGCOM is going to take pity on them or overlook their numbers and give them a chance. This is not what happens when you're applying to medical school. You have to realize nowadays AGCOMs use computers to screen applicants. They're going to screen you based on the minimum cutoff score that they're looking for in your MCAT. So if you don't have that number, you're not going to get you're not going to get past the computer and no human's ever going to read your application to know what potential promise that you wrote about in your personal statement or whatever letters of recommendation you have vouching for you or your extracurricular activities that's all going to mean nothing so the MCAT is extremely important it's the number one factor determining whether you're going to get into medical school or not and if you want to realize how you can start thinking like a doctor then come follow me Jason with drpremed.com and I'm going to share more with you on how you can become a top MCAT scorer thanks